Hey, welcome to Last Gen Gamers, where it's always the right age to game. Tonight we're going to be starting on a new Minecraft server, Skycraft. This is 2.4. Uh, looking forward to 2.5 and even 3 coming out. Um, I have been watching some of those streams with Bacon Donut um, and Giant Waffle. Uh, a few others, and have really enjoyed them, and it kind of reignited my excitement for the Skycraft uh, or Sky Factory world and uh, concept. And so, uh, A. Bowick and I are going to be starting a brand new Skycraft server. Sky, sorry, I keep saying Skycraft, Sky Factory, Sky Factory server. Uh, and we're looking forward to that. It's always a challenge, and uh, we love the achievements, the ability to kind of. Uh, work through it and um, always have your next thing in front of you. Um, even though we enjoy a lot of the sandbox qualities of Minecraft too, the ability to kind of go anywhere, do anything, set your type of gameplay, that's always a lot of fun. Um, but I like the Sky Factory too where you have these achievements kind of lined up for you and ready and waiting and uh, you have a variety of different ways to achieve them but uh, you always have something kind of compelling you, pulling you onwards. And so we're going to start that. Hope you're ready, hope you're excited, and hope you'll be joining us. So here we go. Not a ton of mystery when you're starting a Sky Factory server. You kind of know what things are going to look like when you get in there. So we'll see. All right. Some celebration here. Fireworks. Nice. All right. So, whoa, look around, take stock. Hey, Balak, you don't have your normal player model here. You just look like kind of a generic, a generic Steve model, which is weird. Yeah, on your, on your screen, I can see you have your normal player model on. How about me? Do I? No, I have my normal. Oh, my gosh. And I have a tail. Okay, I don't see a tail. You don't see a tail on me. I don't see a tail on you. Do I have my normal... Um, I'm Steve too to you. Huh. Weird. Alright. Well, hi, Steve. It's kind of weirdly distressing to see you as a man. Um, so, we'll just say you're wearing a Steve costume. And that'll be good. Okay, so, here we are in the middle of the sky. Um... Not much, but a tree directly underneath us. Um, I remember Sky Factory is a world where you do a lot of shift, holding shift. And I should maybe turn the toggle on and off. That's one thing I enjoyed doing when we played Sky Factory before, is you can actually set your um, your uh, crouch walk to toggle instead of having to hold it down, uh, which is sometimes good if you forget to hold it down or if you have a shaky pinky finger. Um, Open up the red book here. Oh, it's just open blocks. I'm familiar with open blocks, and so that'll be good. Know all that stuff. Um, I've got uh, materials in you. That, of course, is Tinker's Construct. And the achievement book. Yay, welcome to Sky Factory 2. A mod pack by Bacon Donut. How to use this book. Um, since we played before, we know how to do it, but I'll kind of go through it if you haven't ever played Sky Factory. Um, part of it is, is you are just starting off in the sky with one tree and I think a single block of dirt. And so, um, I'll just go ahead and read this. Hello and welcome to Sky Factory 2, a modded skyblock mod pack. An infinite world of possibility awaits you. After you build it, of course, because you'll be starting in a void world with nothing between you and death but a single tree on one piece of dirt. But don't panic, the mods in this pack will allow you to get all the resources you need to build yourself an amazing world. Read on for more info about how to play this pack, who put it together, and for a list of goals for, for you to accomplish. How to use this book, use the arrows at the bottom, etc, etc. A note about biomes. The challenges in this book will help you through the early game, but there are several commonly asked questions regarding biome behavior in Sky Factory. Barrels fill with water just fine when it snows, so there's nothing wrong with spawning in a snow biome such as the taiga. 
It does not rain in desert, so barrels will not fill with water. But that is still a fine place to spawn, because water buckets are craftable. Look it up in any eye to see how. Oceans will spawn monsters, but will not spawn passive animals. And mushroom biomes spawn only mushrooms and no monsters. Because of that, ocean and mushroom are both viable places to spawn in. It will just add to the challenge and force you to travel if you want to complete all of the challenges. Also, if you're the kind of person who likes to train dragons, remember that what biome you hatch your dragon in will determine what kind of dragon it grows up to be. Credits? This pack was put together by me, Bacon Donut. Not me as in me, I'm not Bacon Donut, but me, Bacon Donut as in the guy who created the mod pack and wrote the book. I make Minecraft content full-time, and you can find me here, twitch.tv slash bacon underscore donut. And I want to encourage you, go watch Bacon Donut. He's a great guy to watch, very uh, family-friendly, so he keeps his streams clean, uh, but he is still a lot of fun um, and is great with interacting with uh, his watchers. Um, special thanks goes to Wild. Uh, Tarag for the simple achievement mod. Uh, Kiwi fails. Lex Manos. Uh, Uno make good map. Um, Yellow snowflake, etc. All right. Just want to give some props and let people know the challenges. You can't ever beat the pack, but I provided a list of challenges designed to help you progress and give direction to your play. Don't worry if you don't know how to do some of them. Have fun with the process of searching for answers. You'll learn a lot and have some fun too. They're divided into ages that roughly match up to game progression, but you do not have to do them in order. All right, so the wood age, a new age dawns before you. You don't have anything to work with but this tree, so let's make the most of it. Use a crook on leaves to get saplings and a silkworm. Make dirt by composting saplings in an oak barrel. Infest leaves with a silkworm. Use a crook on infested leaves to get string. All right, so that's going to be our first job is to, we obviously can't make a crook because we don't have any wood um, and we only have a single torch. And so the first thing we're going to do, uh, Avalic, you want to punch some wood for us? Taking, taking inventory. I feel so special. All right. A Balak is not able to punch leaves. Is that the case? Okay. Well, that probably means the permissions are just a little messed up. We can easily fix that um, by our little friend OP. A Bowick. All right. Uh, oh, I don't have permission to use this command. Hold on just a moment. I'll be right back. We'll do this a different way by using the server console instead of using uh, the chat console. Okay. We should uh, both be opt and let me jump back into full screen. All right, Abalk is punching some wood. Where's your achievement? Getting wood. Yay! Fantastic. All right, so you have wood. Crafting table is a great place to start. Oh, you just earned the achievement benchmarking. So many fireworks. Yay. Um, you know, I would um, not put it up here. We're probably going to want to be... Oh, you can... Um, a crook is, is not super important. As long as we get at least one sapling with our first uh, tree here, we'll be all right. Enoch is concerned that um, she doesn't want to break any more leaves without crafting a crook first, um, which is understandable, but um, not entirely necessary with this first um, with this first one. Uh, I am, let's see, in cheat mode. I'm going to change that to utility mode and be done with that. 
because I do make judicious use, actually I make rabid use of the magnet mode and the trash can. Although the trash can is <laughs> way less applicable in Sky Factory uh, since you don't want <laughs> to throw away much at all. What? Yes, you're in cheat mode as well. So, what did what happened? You gave yourself a crook. Okay. All right, great. Trash that, and then just go E, options, inventory, and click cheat to utility or recipe mode. All right, you made a crook. You constructed fairly a crook, and so she's gonna bust some leaves with it. Already got a sapling. So we are at least breaking even. Even if everything else goes wrong, we're breaking even. You know, I considered playing this in hardcore mode, which means that one death ends the game and to see how far we could make it. Um, but we may have a couple other people joining us uh, on the server from time to time. Um, the power up bees and those guys are a little less careful and so I don't want to set it up that way and them not be able to join and have fun with us uh, since they are uh, a little younger it's uh, hard for them to be quite as careful as you might like let's check and see what biome we're in we're in extreme hills biome so that'll be fine no weird things about being in a biome where it'll be harder to get water or mobs All right, break away. Fantastic. I'm gonna. Um, you, uh, I would. You know, we could use this little safe haven of leaves um, for our first platform to do anything on. But we need to get to the dirt. Yes, after you break the last um, piece of wood. Uh, the leaves will disappear. Actually, I think the last piece of wood in contact with the leaves, uh, they will disappear. So, um, they're already disappearing. Oh my, oh my, okay. Well, I'm up here on the crafting table, so no big loss. Yeah, go ahead and break them. And I'm gonna turn on the magnet. That way anything that flies off into space doesn't go away entirely. Um, be careful. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. You got something. I heard it. Um, it uh, instead of blocks, if you turn them into slabs, it'll give us more resources to work with. Um, And then um, one little trick is actually if you put slabs, I think, what? Yes, I got it. I think, I'm trying to remember which way it is, but I think if you um, put slabs on the lower part, then mobs will not spawn, which will make our base at least initially, the parts that we build on the upper part. Um, where is it on the lower part? I think it's on the lower part. Uh, mobs will not spawn there, so our base is... Uh, we won't have bad guys spawning in our base. It's all good. All right. Yeah, we need to get that last piece of wood so we can get to the dirt to plant our next sapling. Yeah, there you go. All good. And we had several more pieces of wood, huh? Probably so. Uh, that is the last one, yes. Yep, you've got one more piece of wood and then the dirt. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. 
you can always build upwards.